Good morning from the Fairbanks, Alaska Walmart, and we're going to start working our way south today. I believe Keith from Alaskan Motorhome found us. Let's go see what that is. It's a postcard and a moose. Here it is. Yep, it's from Keith. Hey Ben and Rebecca, saw your RV and wanted to stop by and say welcome home to Alaska. Thank you very much, Keith. We're back on the road. We finished our brunch with our friends and unfortunately we missed Keith. He forgot about a family obligation he had today. So we'll catch you next time we're in Fairbanks this summer. Um, we are gonna go ahead and make our way down the parks. We kinda have to make it to Healy today probably because that's the place where we found out that we could get some water. It's kinda hard this time of year. Um, even though it's been a really mild winter and it's not freezing during the day or anything, a lot of people haven't taken the time to dewinterize their water supply at the RV parks. So we have found a place in Healy where we can get water and uh, we're running pretty low. We haven't gotten water since White Horse? Watson Lake. Watson Lake. But we've been showering elsewhere. We have been. We've been doing all of our showers at the hot springs that we've hit all the way up here. So <laughs> I think we took one shower each on the ride up. That's what hot springs are for on the uh, Alcan. Exactly. Who needs to take water for showering when you can go to the hot springs and then use their showers afterwards? It's great. Uh, now, Liard Hot Springs doesn't have showers, um, but Takini, you, you do. I had, I still had to wash my hair in the RV that night, but got got nice and clean otherwise. Um, Takini Hot Springs and Sheena Hot Springs both have shower facilities, so that's a great reason to, a great excuse to stop at the hot springs. Feeling good to be home though. We really are enjoying being back in Alaska and we've already met up with friends and it's been lovely. So strangely, it almost, it's very strange to come back right now. It almost feels like time stopped while we were gone because it was fall when we left and there wasn't any snow on the ground until the night we were driving out of Alaska. A lot of the trees had lost their leaves by then and it almost looks exactly the same now. So I keep having this strange feeling of winter should be starting soon, as if time stopped after we left. Uh, even though I know intellectually that it's spring and summer's coming. So um, very surreal, but we're glad to be home and we're excited to share our trip home with you guys. We have made it to Healy, Alaska. Just got some fuel and topped off our water tank. And we're stopping by the 49th State Brewing Company. Not for the beer, because that part's closed for the season. And they're gonna be opening up soon. We stopped by to check out the replica bus from the Into the Wild movie. It's funny, they have a chair sitting out in front of it so you can take your picture. And I know. So in case you've never heard of the End of the Wild movie, it's about a young man named Christopher McCandless who was kind of a wayward soul, ended up wanting to buck the system, and he went out into the Alaska wilderness and ended up dying towards the end of uh, summer. A lot of Alaskans have mixed opinions about it, saying like, oh, he got what he deserved and stuff like that, or he is a fool. You know what? I will not say that he deserved to die. I will say that he was way, way underprepared and undereducated for what he was attempting. And you know what? Alaska will kill you in a heartbeat. 
there's a lot of things that we will not do because we know it's out of our skill set. So at least that's my opinion on the subject. I think it's just a matter of respect for the state. It sounds strange, but I always tell people, Alaska will eat you up and spit you out if you're not careful. And it's just the truth. People forget that it's really true wilderness and you can get yourself in a bind. And he did, and who knows really what happened, nobody was with him, but so no reason to judge, but just a cautionary tale. So if you haven't seen the movie yet, uh, we highly recommend, uh, I don't know, Netflixing or uh, renting it from uh, whatever source you have. And uh, also, by the way, the Into the Wild soundtrack is also amazing. It's probably one of our favorite albums ever. And the main part of, that we like about it is that it's Eddie Vedder music from Pearl Jam. It's a lot of acoustic and him playing the ukulele, stuff like that. Beautiful, beautiful music. So if you're a Pearl Jam Eddie Vedder fan, you would really love the Into the Wild soundtrack. Right now, we are gonna continue heading south on the Parks Highway. This stretch is very beautiful because we're gonna be driving through the Alaska Range. Um, there are some clouds in the sky, so I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to see Denali, the great one, AKA Mount McKinley as mm. people from the outside call her. But I believe uh, this past mm. summer, it actually officially got renamed to Denali. So that's pretty cool. No offense against President McKinley. You know, the poor guy was assassinated, but you know, the native people call her Denali, so that's her rightful name. Time to hit the road. today. This is a rare spotting that Denali is out and has graced us with her presence this afternoon on this lovely, I mean breathtakingly gorgeous day. It's still snowy up here so the sun is reflecting off of all the snow and just making it really bright. And then you just have this beautiful what seems like it will never end range of mountains that leads up to Denali. It is yawn gorgeous. How lucky did we get? Ben and I were just discussing how it's almost poetic for us to have driven all the way up to Fairbanks and come down through the state as we drive home from our North American road trip and in particular to drive past Denali and be able
able to witness the beauty of the highest peak in North America. Um, it's just very a, a very suiting way to bring this this particular journey to a close. And, uh, and we're just so enjoying being able to witness the spring beauty of our home state. So we're being a little sappy, but really, I mean, you saw it. How magnificent is that? It's gorgeous. We pulled over to stretch our legs a little bit and also get a better look at Denali. There she is over there. Over 20,000 feet. In the springtime, this is a magnificent drive. Well guys, this is the place I wanted to camp and I was hoping this lake would be thought out but this is the South Raleigh Lake and Campground in the Nancy Lakes State Park and uh, it's an awesome place you know there's trout in here there's pike in here and it's beautiful we have cell phone service so we can work and do all that stuff but there's nothing to do here now. So we are going to move on. Plus, the sign said the campground is closed, so if we did stop and decide to stay the night, we'd be breaking the law. So what we're looking for, guys, is a place to spend a few nights where we can have something to do recreationally and good cell phone service and not have to move. We have been moving every single night since we left Portland and it's a bit exhausting like wake up in the morning and move wake up and move it just gets old we are done um, we're kind of home in one regard because we're in south central Alaska yeah we're still about a couple hundred miles from the house but, but these are this is our home turf yeah. and uh, we're just slowly working our way back towards Los Anchorage before we need to be there for our business stuff. So yeah, uh, we are now going to check out, and I can guarantee we'll stay here, it's called the Knick Public Use Area outside of Palmer, and it's a pretty awesome little place. You can ride your ATV there, and uh, the Knick River goes right through there, and uh, well, it'll work and we know it will work because it's a sure thing yeah we even have a video or a couple videos of trips out to Knick Glacier with our ATV so it's a fun place it doesn't have as many trees or have that woodsy feel like this place does but it'll work and uh, we'll be able to just unwind for a few days before we need to go into the big city arrived at Kinnick Public Use Area just outside of Palmer on the Kinnick River and uh, this is where we're gonna camp for a few nights before we head into Anchorage um, whoa! big bump we drove pretty late to get here today since we've driven all the way from Fairbanks uh, so it's after 10 o'clock, believe it or not. It's still, you know, kind of dusk outside, and it's the middle of April, so you can really see how quickly the light comes back and how late uh, the sun is up here, even this early in the summer. Well, it's not even summer yet, but you get what I mean. 
anyway we'll show you around tomorrow but this is one of our favorite spots to camp because we can go up to the glacier on the ATV there's a little river down here it's free it's free um, and it's close to a lot of our friends so we'll be able to see some people this week and it will be relaxing we're ready for a few days just to relax and not have to move we have moved every night for the last 11 days and we're tired you wouldn't believe how much it takes it out of you to move every single day but it really does uh, to, to tear down camp every single morning and then set it back up every single evening is exhausting it wears on you so we're really happy to be here I am going to close out this video. I need to help Ben find a good spot to park. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to like our video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and share with your friends. But most importantly, don't forget to enjoy the ride. See you tomorrow, guys. Have a good night. One last thing I just had to share with you. The view of the moon coming up over the mountains. It is lovely. Just lovely. Alright, on that note, good night.